Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next Live with One Hive video. This is the first Town Hall 9 uh, episode of this that I've done. Uh, today we have the Cav 7 taking on base 26 here. Uh, what's up? How you doing, man? I'm doing fine. What about you, Bisect? Great. I'm uh, looking forward to this war. Should be fun. have a pretty good clan here, D Nation. Um, you can go ahead and walk us through your plan here, talk about uh, what you're going to do, and then we'll look at the attack. Yeah, so I'm hitting base number 26 this war. Mm -hmm. You there? So I'm planning a shattered Goho on this base. As you can see, the a small kill squad is providing a very large value on this base as the queen is pretty exposed and the expo is pretty exposed. And so I'm planning a shattered Goho from 12 o'clock. The first golem will go down at 12 o'clock with a baby dragon behind him. And the baby dragon will take that builder hall, builder, uh, that builder hut so that, you know, the 99% is saved and sometimes it can save the attack. So yeah. I'm planning for yeah. the baby dragon right there. The second golem will go down at about one o'clock right to the cannon and some whizzes behind it to funnel and there's some whizzes on the uh, 11 o'clock side to funnel and then i'm planning the jump right at the right so not opening the bomb tower compartment so my golems can stay together and provide tank for the heroes so i'm bringing bringing just a jump and and i'm also bringing cc hogs no ballers Okay. It's a pretty much okay. uh, hero kill squad, you know. It's a pretty much hero kill squad. We relying on back end hogs, so hopefully my heroes, uh, my heroes and some wizards can take out the CC, the queen, and hopefully some wizards too. So after that, I, I'll from about three o'clock side, depending upon on the where the kill squad is going to. Uh, reconsider my where my hawk should go and the hawk part thing and heals where needed. I'll be healing hogs whenever there's a giant bomb or uh, whenever there's a high DPS zone like the one at the six o'clock right there, the expo and the two wizard over zone. So I'll be healing through high DPS zones and Tesla farms and whatnot. Okay, so you're starting your hogs at three o'clock. Yeah, hopefully from 3 o'clock, but depending upon the situation, like if my uh, kill squad is providing tank for my hogs at for the wizard towers there, so I'll be starting hogs from 11 o'clock too, but hopefully they'll be from 3 o'clock as I want them to go into that line and uh, submerge with the kill squad right at the end. Okay, that sounds great. I think the plan is good. Um, anything else you want to say? Are you ready to attack this? I'm ready to attack just I just want to make sure that I'll drop the funnel troops I drop the cleanup pretty e uh, early so the there's no problem of cleanup yeah absolutely that's a good idea um, so okay as we talked about you can uh, hop off discord and go ahead and do the attack just to make it a little bit easier on you and I'll stay here and just kind of commentate right, it man. and I'll stay here okay catch, catch you in a okay minute. good luck All right, so uh, Cav just hopped off here. I'm going to just kind of stay on the base. We'll see when he's attacking. Um, looks like we just had another three star happen a few minutes ago. Um, but yeah, the, the plan looks good. Basically, as you guys heard, he's kind of doing a two golem kill squad. Um, from what I, I heard, I think he's jumping right around the town hall. So he doesn't want to let the heroes or the golems go in this area. He wants to keep them right in this compartment. Um, the, the idea behind this base, we were talking a little bit before I started recording, is that um, the Expo, the Queen, two three-point defense wizard towers, all very accessible just from this one compartment here. So two Golem Kill Squad can get a lot of value. And uh, the hog pathing around the rest of the base is pretty good. A uh, nice little lane, uh, starting at 3 o'clock actually. I was thinking 9 o'clock for some reason. Um, but starting at 3 o'clock, just around the base like this, I'd say he'll probably have to heal if there's giant bombs here, a uh, heal here. Oh, here we go. I guess we'll see how it goes in real time. Uh, this is the Cav 7 trademarked at the top there and with the sparkling stuff. So, uh, cool name. 
Let's see how this one goes. Has the two golems, 24 hogs plus the CC, baby dragon, jump, two poisons, and three heals. As long as that queen doesn't take out his golems too much, he should be fine. Um, looks like that one golem's gonna walk to the cannon. I didn't think it would walk that far, but both his golems are walking down, meaning this cannon won't be tanked. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take out that wizard there. Let's see, there's the jump. Um, the troops moving in. Queen doing some work on these golems, though. The first one busted, and oh, a Tesla pulling this golem down. Uh, this is a tricky base. I think it's set up to defend golems from this side by drawing them off. But here comes the uh, heroes. Has the jump down. The queen is down, so that's good. Has the pre-poison on the CC. It's going to be a Valk uh, minion type CC. Queen will take that out, I'm pretty sure, along with the king. They shouldn't have much trouble getting that. Uh, one Valk running over on this golem over here. That's kind of weird. I think he'll have to... Well, is the queen going to take out that... Had to pop the queen's ability a little bit earlier than he would have liked to. He's going to miss that expo. It looks like the gem spell ran out. Uh, this is a tough attack. Um, now, Valk is still up too, and he doesn't have any cleanup. Has to start the troops here. Uh, good poison on the Valk, though. He's trying to adjust. It's going to be tough, because um, that Valk got a few swings off on the hogs, especially, um, considering that. And the Valk is still alive somehow. It ran through the poison. This is one strange attack. I don't know how that Valk has not died yet, um, but just we'll see how this one goes. He still has a heal spell left, but I don't think with the Valk, the King, the Skellies, and all those defenses, he's going to be able to pull this one off. Uh, yeah, too much uh, coming at these hogs. They're going to go down here. Uh, so nice try. I think the plan was good, but just really unlucky the way the Tesla pops. Uh, bringing that one golem way over to the side in the way that one Valk ran over because uh, without that Valk he actually had quite a few hogs and you can see even with that one Valk and not being able to poison the skellies or the king uh, he still got almost the entire base taken out just a handful of defenses left up so it was a very good plan um, just unfortunate how it worked out here I'm not sure if he's going to hop on voice or not but um, we'll quickly take a look at the replay and if he comes back on maybe he can give a few words um, about that attack because it was a uh, a nice try for sure um, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the replay here so starts off with the golem at 12 now I thought that golem would go to the archer tower it didn't that was a little bit strange I thought but actually wasn't that big of a deal it's still tanking he still gets a pretty good funnel created it doesn't get that gold storage but not a big deal um, didn't really need it. Here come the heroes. It's that one Tesla popping that's going to draw the golem on a walk, and that golem is almost at full health, so he's really losing a lot of tanking value, plus the queen switches off it onto the king, um, taking out about half the king's health, so pops the king's ability, but even despite that, I think he would have had the three star if the Valk right there just didn't run over to the golem, because that golem would have tanked for a lot longer, would have tanked the archer tower, the Tesla, um, without the Valk there beating on it. So he would have gotten a lot better value from his hogs and I think would have had a much better chance of getting the three star here. Uh, is Devin? Are you there, Devin? Oh, it looks like he hopped back. He was in the chat for a second. Um, maybe we'll have another attack I can record. But what is with this Valk not dying? Look at it run out of the poison, run back into it. That is weird. That one Valk almost seemed immune to the poison. That was a very strange outcome. I think the poison should have killed the Valk. It looked like it was in there long enough to kill the Valk, but it didn't. Um, so nice try to the Cav 7. Um, looks like he's not going to hop back on, at least at the moment. So I will wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Maybe I'll even record one more and uh, we can have some a duo live with one hive type uh, videos coming out but uh, this is a series I want to do more I think it's a fun series to do and I think the people in Genesis definitely enjoy uh, recording it so that'll do it thank you for watching and until next time bisect the Tron out